It's never been a question of talent on the court and skill level on the court. It's been his mental and, I guess, happiness or, or, or at peace with it. I mean, we're seeing the best Kyrie Irving we've seen. And the yeah. fact that he's been able to, I, I, and I, I think, I don't know if it was an old interview or a new interview where he said he can play next to the best players in the world. Him and Luke are, are, are incredible right now. And obviously, we mentioned the J-Kid effect and, and how great their role players are. But Kyrie Irving has been on another planet. And the fact that you can have a Luka, and as soon as Luka wants to give it up to somebody else, that next person he's given up to is Kyrie, and there's zero drop-off when that happens. Jack, I'll start with you. What do you think it has been the, the, the key to just beautiful basketball that Kyrie Irving's been playing? Well, for me, I, I, I just look at it as different because, you know, like I said, I've, we've been there. I'm, I'm not even close and never was the player Kyrie is. But from the side of it where I'm, I'm comfortable where I can just play basketball, like that's that that that's all the difference to me. Like you look at me, I had my best years where I could just be me in Golden State. Don Nelson be me in Charlotte. Uh, Larry Brown and Corsales let me be me. They just let me play basketball. When everything outside the court is not brought on the court by other people and not you, you can just play. And that's the thing with Kyrie. He's free. He loved playing the game. He loved being him. I just want to play basketball, and I can do it at the highest level. But y'all take everything me living my personal life and the way I feel and bring it on the court. I'm not the one doing that. Y'all doing that. So now, Matt, he's just playing basketball at the same people that was uh, degrading him, the same people that saying to kick him out the league, the same people saying suspend him, don't uh, sell his, burn his jerseys, all that, are the same people supporting him now because it's not nothing he's doing different. He's playing basketball. He's still doing the same thing, but y'all letting him be his own person outside. The Mavericks are. We talked to Mark Cuban. Mark Cuban, them. they love Kyrie. They know he's a free thinker, but they letting him be him. So they know one thing about it. If you let him be him, Ooh, he's going to come out. out and play basketball. Ooh, you know out. what I'm saying? You let, and, and, that's, and that's what it is. So I love the fact that he's with J.K. Like, like KG was talking about because K.G. been there. I mean, uh, J.K. been there. The one of the best point guard ever. He's been through a lot of stuff in his career. Not to the uh, level, the magnitude of Kyrie, but he's been through different things. So he understands it. Kyrie's in the best situation he can be with an understanding owner like Mark Cuban and a coach that's been there that's one of the best players in the game ever. This is what you see when you're comfortable, you're happy, and people are treating you with respect and you giving that same respect back. Mm. Take it. Yeah, to piggyback what Jack's talking about, <clears throat> he looks at peace. I think he's uh, said less. I think saying and saying less has helped him. And also, you know, let's let's be honest. Brooklyn's a different climate than Dallas. He's from Jersey. He's from that area. From the Nets and the Brooklyn Nets ownership group is a very different group, and they have their own beliefs. If you understand what I'm saying, right? So that was more about that more than anything, you know. So it was good that he was able to change up his environment. And I think in the sense of being in a different environment, he's succeeded. And uh, he's thriving. Now, in this whole run, Kyrie's peace has not been disturbed. He looks very vibrant. He looks very calm and very, very Kobe-ish, if, if I'm able to use it respectfully. Some of the big shots look confident. He looks there. He looks very present, right? Only question is coming up in this next, in this final round of the final. Let's just say scenario-wise it is the Boston Celtics. This will be the most challenging because it's just the final and because of the relationships in the past of his actions and things that he's done in Boston and left Boston the way he left it. The narrative there is there for all of that to be disturbed. Can he keep his peace in this yeah. hectic energy? Can he keep his peace in this hectic environment? You know, he made it about race. You know, he, he came out and, and said that, you know, some things happened race-wise and all of that and blah, blah, blah. I mean, that, that's going to tap into your, you know, I, I'm just saying it to say that. This, These are all facts, KG. I'm, I'm, that's all I'm saying here. And all this coming up, bro, is, is going to play a part. Like, I've never seen in none of the series, any of his piece or his vibration be changed, him heightened. I think Ant calling him out actually activated him. I think Ant, him saying he was holding his kid and then hearing that and he sat up, bro. <laughs> but you let a sleeping dog sleep. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So he, he should thank Ant for that. But this is going to be another level, I think, encouragement. And I think this is going to be another level for him trying to embrace something and keeping a certain level of steadiness and calmness. Because He can unlock another level of Kyrie if he master this one KG. Listen, listen, if he beats, if they're able to go into the finals, if the Mavericks and Celtics meet in the finals, and then there's some parity there too with Porzingis and Luka, you know what I'm saying? Like, no one's talking about that. They got a little mm -hmm. history, and I think Luka kind of eluded that he didn't have any heart, and, you know, and so it's going to, listen, I'm seeing fireworks. the narrative shift right before <laughs> our fireworks. eyes. Let's yeah. get it, bro. Let's get I it, though. It. Let's get it. So, Ticket, before we get you out of here, the media seems to think that the Celtics have not been challenged yet due to the injuries they faced along Along the way, what are your thoughts? Man, listen, this is what I had a problem with everybody. It's on the road. You're supposed to get down on the road. Okay. So you're playing the home team at home. The home team is beating your ass like they're supposed to. They came back right. and they beat you. Listen. 
It's not the Celtics' fault that this is getting hurt. It's not the Celtics' fault that people are dropping like flies. It goes back to my subconscious. Halliburton, them ain't played this far into May, bro. They ain't, they ain't come here. Listen, what I'm getting mad at is that no one in the basketball world is respecting the process of these young stars having to go through the process. And we're in the middle of those right. players in right. the process. They bodies. They, you, you remember when you was in high school and you went to college and you got to college and they made you lift weights? You know why they was doing that? Because you had to acclimate your body to the college level a play. You got in college, you came to the pros, same thing. They made you get stronger for the league. This is one of those processes level. that you got to go through so that you can go deep into the playoffs and have some vision. That's all this is. So it's not the Celtics' fault. What do you mean not challenge? To be on the road, down 18 ain't a challenge? This is where the basketball people start to separate. This is where the water and mm. oil start to separate. Y'all don't know what okay. y'all talking about. Bro, hey, to be hey, somebody hey, on the hey, goddamn hey, road, hey, be down 18 is a monster. Go you got to be a monster to do that.